Hi, I'm Chris Gold with Geeks on Tour, and I am designated by Google as a diamond level product expert for Google Photos. Now, Google Photos is by Google, and Android is by Google, so that is kind of obvious, but people ask me all the time, should I be using Google Photos or can I use Google Photos on an iPhone? And the answer is a little complicated. The answer is yes, you absolutely can, but whether or not you should is kind of up to you. I want to show you a little bit about it and hopefully you can answer the question for yourself. First, I need to take some photos that I can show you. So I'm going to take a couple of photos of Jim with my Samsung Android phone. Hey, Jim, hold on to this little Android guy so that we can make understand that this photo was taken with an Android. All right, so there's one and I'll do a vertical one and then I'm going to make a mistake on one. So that was three photos with an Android phone. Now I want to take some photos with my iPhone, my Apple iPhone. So he's going to hold up an apple to make sure we know that the photo was taken with an apple. <laughs> Yay! A nice red apple and a vertical one and then a, a garbage We'll show you those in, in a minute, but first I want to say that if you are a person that has all Apple devices, you have an iPhone, you have an iPad, and you have a Mac, and you plan to keep it that way, then you really don't need Google Photos, and you don't need the complexity that it, it adds. Use Apple Photos on your phone and Mac and learn to make the most of it. Use them and learn about it. Now, if you ever think you might get an Android in the future, then it's best to start using Google Photos now and hopefully you'll see why. So using Google Photos on an iPhone, I think can give you some extra power. The Google Photos and Apple Photos are very similar in their features, but I think Google has some advantage, some powerful advantages. But those advantages come with some peril as well, especially when it comes to deleting, and you need to understand that. I'm going to show you. First, some terminology. I talk about the cloud a lot. What is the cloud? It's just the internet. Things can be stored in your accounts in the cloud. If a photo is in the cloud and you need it on your device, that's called download. If a photo is on your device, which it certainly is when you first take a photo, and you want it copied to the cloud, that's called upload. It's also called backup. You take a photo on your device, it goes up to the cloud. A copy of it goes up to the cloud. Which cloud? Well, if you're using Apple Photos and iCloud, then it is your Apple account in the Apple's iCloud. If you're using Google Photos, then that goes to the Google Cloud. So let's, let's count. You take a photo with your phone. How many copies do you have? The one copy that is on the device on your phone. Now Apple copies that up to iCloud. You now have two copies. If you have Google Photos installed and the backup turned on, once that happens, you now have three copies. And that's nice. If you lose your phone, you still have two copies. So let's take a look at those photos that I just took. This is my iPhone, and we have both Apple Photos, that's that flowery one, and Google Photos, the pinwheel. If I go to Apple Photos, we will see the two photos I took of Jim with the apple and then the mistake I made. But if we look at Google Photos, we will see the photos I took with the apple and the photos I took with the Android. Jim, I want you to take a picture of me with your phone. All right, let's see if I can do that. And it's that's an Android. That is an Android. <laughs> nice picture. <laughs> okay. All right. 
And in a minute, what you'll see is that the photo he took with his phone will also be showing up in my Google Photos because of a Google feature called Partner Sharing. I just have to prove that I got that photo that he took with his phone. This is my iPhone, and if I go into Google Photos, there is the picture that he took with his phone because of partner sharing. So that's, that's a little power feature of Google Photos. Now I want to explain a bit about how both of these programs work with the cloud. Google Photos Cloud versus Apple Cloud. In Google Photos, the whole point is to copy everything up to the cloud. And once your lifetime of photos is in the cloud, Google couldn't care less what happens to the original on your devices. Whereas Apple's is completely different. iCloud's purpose is just to keep all your Apple devices in sync. If you add a photo to one device, it gets added to all devices. If you delete a photo from one device, it gets deleted from all devices. Deleting. So if I use Apple to delete, it will delete from all Apple devices, but it will not delete from Google Photos. I go to Apple Photos, I delete. I only have the Apple pictures, right? I don't even, I don't have the Google pictures, but let's say I don't like vertical pictures. So I'm going to delete this one. Delete photo. This photo will be deleted from iCloud photos on all your devices. It will be in recently deleted for 30 days. Delete photo. But now if I go back to Google photos, that vertical picture of Jim with the apple is still there. So Apple does not have access to the Google Photo Cloud. But now I'm still in Google Photos, notice, and I have both pictures of the Apple. I also have this mistake that I took. If I trash that using Google Photos, it says, allow Google Photos to delete this photo. It will be deleted from iCloud Photo on all of your devices. If I tap delete, I'm giving permission to delete it from the device, from the phone. Therefore, Apple will delete it because of the way iCloud works, not because of Google. You just gave Google permission to delete from the device. Apple saw that it was gone from the device and it is deleting it from all Apple devices. When you're deleting just one photo, that's not a big, a huge deal, especially if the photo was garbage, then that's what you want, right? You want it to be deleted from Google Photos, from the device, and from all Apple devices. It was garbage. If all you're wanting to do is free up space, that's another story. With Apple Photos, it cannot be done. You cannot delete photos from the device and still leave them in iCloud. On Google Photos, it can be done, but note that those photos will be deleted from Apple. So if you swipe up on a photo in Google Photos, you have the option to delete from device. You won't miss it in Google Photos because you'll still see it in the Google Cloud, but it'll be gone from the device, freeing up space, and it'll be gone from Apple Photos. Google Photos also has a feature that will delete all photos from the device. If you just go into your settings screen, you will see 4,209, in my case, items to delete from this device. If you do that, it will free up a lot of space on your device, but those photos will all be gone from all your Apple devices. Probably not what you want. So do not use that feature on an iPhone. In summary, the power of Google Photos on an iPhone is that it includes Android devices as well as iPhone. It can even include your partner's photos. Once the photo is in Google Cloud, you can delete from the device. That's something that Apple doesn't give you. You can access your Google Photos from any connected device. Windows, Mac, Android, iPhone. I think that's really powerful. I know that all my photos are accessible to me at any time. And you can use the web program to edit, make albums, etc. On Apple, you need to have a Mac in order to use your computer 
for editing photos. We talked about deleting. That's a huge peril. People who do that and don't understand are very upset. One other peril is that when you first install Google Photos on your iPhone and turn it on, it's going to upload all the photos on your iPhone. And that might fill up your Google Photos cloud when you're not expecting it. If you understand the deletion and you're willing to pay for Google storage, I think Google Photos is a great option on an iPhone. But it's not required. Do what works for you. One final word. If you do use Google Photos on your iPhone, you now have two photo programs. Make sure you're using the right one. And if you're going to use Google Photos, use Google Photos. Don't use Apple Photos. Therefore, don't use the camera to get the photos because that will take you to the Apple Photos app. If you take a photo using your iPhone, do not use this little miniature over here to get to your Photos app because that is taking you to the Apple Photos and you're going to get really confused. After you take a photo with your iPhone, you need to go home and then open Google Photos. And you will be seeing the photo that you just took, but you're in the Google Photos app.